What's going on guys? Alex with Acing Tennis here. To celebrate one month completion of the knee training exercises, I've only missed one day in a whole month. I'm really proud of myself and I'm starting to see a little bit of improvement in my flexibility and the strength in my legs, especially the muscles surrounding my knees. I've received multiple comments asking about the different program or the exercises or whatever that I'm doing. So I'm gonna share a little bit of it with you guys today. I'm not gonna share the whole thing because that's just a response respect the actual program that I'm doing. Um, he does want you to pay for his exercises. I do believe in them so far. They've done great for me, but I'm going to give you guys kind of a sneak peek into what I've been doing as I go through my exercises today. Hopefully you guys can get something out of this, maybe take a little bit of that and translate it into some of whatever exercises that you do, especially if you're struggling with knee problems like myself. The program's called Knees Over Toes. You're more than welcome to look that up on YouTube. Highly recommend his videos. He's super high energy, has lots of great things to say and you might learn something especially when it comes to uh, the strength in your legs especially the muscles surrounding your knees your quads your hamstrings your calf muscles your tibialis all of those muscles we're strengthening daily with this program what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I've been doing and I went ahead and started my exercise today with 10 minutes of walking backwards now what that's gonna do is that's gonna work those muscles that surround your knees um, especially like your quads and the muscles leading down into your knees your calf, your ankle, all of those things. All of that is weak on my legs, um, all of it. <laughs> so uh, this program has really helped me strengthen some of those things. Now the walking backwards is kind of one of his signature things as well as something called a split squat. So I'm going to go ahead and start some of these other exercises. I'm going to film a little bit of it. Hopefully you enjoy and thank you guys for sticking around. Yeah, we'll see you uh, in some of these exercises. This next exercise this is called the Patrick Step, and this really highlights the weakness in my right knee. It's the first exercise in this program that is really, really tough for me in the knee. And you'll see why in a second. It puts a lot of strain on my knee while it's over my toe, which is in its really vulnerable state where it needs to, needs to be strong to push itself back up. So you'll see what I mean here in a second. That's the Patrick step. My right knee doesn't go nearly as far as my left knee when I do that. If I put it out a little bit further, it's just gonna hurt. And one of the main things the guy preaches in this exercise program is to do things without pain. Do them at the level you can do them and work up. And that's what I'm trying to do. If I go any further than that, it causes me pain in my right knee. And so that's not something I want. So we're moving on to his signature exercise, which is the ATG split squat. You can actually put a support where you're doing the split squat at a higher level, where your front leg that's supporting the whole split squat is actually raised up off the ground, like put your leg on a bucket or something, you know, to raise yourself up off the ground. And that's what I had to do to start out with. I could not do a split squat a month ago. And now I can do the full set of what he wants for the program and it's uh, full split squats on both legs, multiple repetitions. So hopefully you guys enjoy uh, seeing this because I'm really, really proud of it.
and that's the ATG split squat. It's hard. After I'm done with these, I'll catch you guys at the stretches. All right, finished all of those. I'm on to the stretch portion of the program. You finish with some crucial stretches for hamstrings, quads, that sort of thing. What I wanted to mention about some of these exercises is my flexibility was very, very minimal at the beginning of this program, and I could not touch the floor with my fingers on a straight stretch down and this thing I'm about to do is called the elephant walk where I'm extending one hamstring at a time and I'll show you guys that I can actually touch the ground now which is something I'm really proud of and <laughs> something I haven't been able to do for quite a while so here we go All right, moving on to the last couple of stretches here. This one works the outer glute. There is a progression to this exercise and this is the second stage. So I've passed the first stage of the exercise and we're on to the second stage. This one can be pretty tough, especially if you're pretty inflexible like myself. Um, so this one, this one has uh, been a work in progress and I'm happy to say that I've gotten to this stage. I have no fear how this will end. No, nothing scares me anymore. All right, we're on the last stage now. I'm gonna go show you guys the last exercise. Um, this one is a quad stretch, uh, a little bit extreme. So the closer you can get your knee to the wall, the better. I uh, used to be pretty far out, but I'm getting a little bit closer. So I'm pretty proud of how far I've come in this one as well. Well, that's it guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it it's nothing extreme but it is hard um, if you are having any knee issues or leg issues or just want to get stronger for tennis I highly recommend some of these exercises and if you feel like you really want to do it I would highly recommend signing up for the program I'll put a link down uh, a link to it in the description down below I have no affiliation or anything with it other than the fact that I'm doing it right now it's a great exercise program and the first part of it you don't need any equipment or anything so it makes it real easy for everybody but thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed like the video subscribe to the channel we're almost to a thousand subscribers those of you who aren't subscribed highly encourage you to subscribe so we can get to that thousand subscriber mark and we'll see you guys for some more tennis soon hopefully with stronger legs thanks guys